What is up, boys? It is your guy here, and your boy's gonna be talking about some more of you guys here, and your guy's gonna be. <laughs> Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today, my oh my, we got another really huge update for Black Ops 4, which included the new Blackjack item shop in the market menu. So today, I want to go over it with you guys and show you how to skip tiers, which is what I will cover now. So basically, every single day when you log on to uh, the game, you head over to the black market, you're going to see right above it, there is a option to skip tiers, and how you skip tiers is pretty much just winning win the first match of the day it doesn't matter if it's in blackout or multiplayer just if you win that very first match you're going to be able to skip a tier so definitely log on every single day play one game a day and you'll be able to skip a tier so that's definitely gonna add up eventually as the days go on but now we're gonna take a look at the blackjack shop so the layout is very similar to fortnite's item shop like it, it is what it is i know they're two totally different games but uh, you gotta admit though, they are very, very similar. So, on the right side, you'll see the two featured items, and these are gonna last for about four days. And the two items available are the Dia de los Muertos skins for both Ruin and Seraph. And then on the right side is the daily items. So, every single day, there's gonna be a new set of skins, gestures, tags, etc. I assume there's gonna be some sort of a signature weapon that makes its way over eventually. I wish that Treyarch would have added one for the very start of the content drop today but it's whatever like i said i'm sure there's going to be a lot more coming out in the near future here so um that's basically a quick rundown of the blackjack item shop the skins and pretty much everything on the market right now don't really cost too much money however I don't think I would spend COD points on anything on here right now. Like, it's just not appealing to me. Like, I, I sure the Dia de los Muertos skins look pretty cool, I guess, but... Um, I don't know, like, I wouldn't, I would not spend money on these right now. I'm definitely waiting for, uh, signature weapons to come out and maybe even, you know, other ranged weapons. Cause, uh, like, I could definitely see that happening. Um, I could see them adding, you know, like a classic Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 style weapon to the market where you can, you can buy it directly. I mean, that's better for sure than, you know, opening up supply drops and having a chance of getting one. Like, at least you can get one directly, but then you also have to think about, like, do I want to spend $20 or more on a weapon just to use in a game, you know? That maybe will play into a factor. And the same thing can be applied, too, if they add on other skins that look maybe better or signature weapons, you know? It's, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what's going to happen for the future of the blackjack item shop so that's just a quick rundown guys i might be posting an update video talking about all the patch notes so um if you guys want to check that out then you know let me know down below in the comments because i'd be happy to do so and you know test everything do all that kind of good stuff there but yeah guys tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comment section also drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching till next time i'll see you guys later